Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. JC here, and this time, Chipmunk. Watch your folks. Yes, more weird shift patterns. Yes, so we're recording this on John's non standard day. Yeah. This is a weekend. Now, oh dear. No, it seems to be recurring more and more with this series, but eh, oh, never well. mind. Mm. So here we are, we left off with this last time. With the new coloured trains. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to replace the, the everything else. Now as I know that everything else is the same as those ones. So I'm going to pin that because I want to see its size, that's all. We should get a um, capacity increase out of this. You're going to need it on the Brighton Dover run. Uh, they don't have as many. Everybody else has either got eight or more, and it's only got six, so I need to deploy another two. Ah. Replace the vehicles. Uh, that one. And uh, that one. Hmm. You got money back from them, didn't you? No. Well. No. <laughs> I thought you got money back when you uh, sold them off. Not necessarily. Ah. And yes, right, we can actually analyse this. Right. We are actually making some money back. 20 million per vehicle. Per vehicle. 168 capacity. It's like, that's what, one, two, three, four, five. There's six of them at 20 mil each. But it's only costing it's still costing this oh. It's only costing 71. Mm. So we are getting something back from recycling the old stuff. But here we are, right, it's probably got a lower top speed, but that doesn't really matter. Its capacity is increased by a tiny amount. Well, the new one's 168, the old one's 156. Yeah, little yeah. bit. Little. Now I can do it from here. Uh, replace all. Look there. One, two. Uh, oh, it's nice and easy, isn't it? Onto the Brighton's already done. Replace all of those with those. Ah, oh, doing these multiple units is so much easier than doing it normally, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, because you just do the multiple units rather than having to select loco and carriages and click yeah click, click 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 yeah we've lost a fair amount of money but oh well we'll make that back in like half an episode at least or at most doesn't take long there we go um, they have all been replaced look at that they look they look right now it actually looks correct for the time period we're about to hit 1990. Mm. It's all right, hit the millennium and we'll get the ones that actually look correct, for me anyway. Which is basically the kind of stuff we've got now. And basically, you know, we'll, we'll hit the millennium and then basically we've finally reached an achievement in the, we will have actually finally seen the end before finishing everything. Although there's only one line left to do. Oh, the um, London Dover line. Yes, there's only one line left to do, and then I'm like, oh, I'm finished. Um, what? What do Ooh. I do next? Um, yeah. Where do I go? What do I do? Well, there's all these blank spaces, and most of this would be farm. There would be large patches of farm on it. So, pretty fine could be a thing that is done because I started doing that online, and then. Stopped. <sighs> There's other things to do. I mean, it does only does so much. Yes, it makes it look correct and pretty, but uh, it's a bit of a faff. But what we're going to do is we actually need to get this going. It's cogitating. Uh, 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 there we go. It's finished cogitating. Poor machine. We'll turn those off. 
know, there's something else I should really turn off as well. Um, is there going to be something for... Yeah. Turn the signals off. Oh, with the indicator, yeah, the markers for the signals, you don't need them. I don't need the markers for signals, let's be honest. Oh yeah, we were going to add an extra train, weren't we? Okay, one's pulling out on this line, so... Oh, you're accelerating so slowly. <laughs> It just looks so slow, even though it's on super fast forward. I don't know what's going on here. They all seem to be travelling around like normal speed. And of course this is normal speed for me now. Right, well let's send one out, shall we? Mm-hmm. Five vehicles. That one, that one. Oh, so easy. Right, uh, this is going to be... Called. They've got what six at the moment, haven't they? Yes. Brighton to Dover. Brighton Dover seven. Dover seven. Yep. And attach that to the Brighton to Dover. Now I'm going to pin that one because I've got to come back to it. I have to turn it around. Uh, no. It's down here. The rest of that line is all funkiness. Okay, uh, buy a vehicle. That one. Make sure you've got the right selected. Good. Purchase that. Pride and food. Dover. Please go onto that line. Now I can get it going. Quite busy when you look at the terminals. There's, there's almost always something pulling in. Oh, we can zoom in a little bit and actually hear stuff. I will be glad when I can more sprinters trucks trucks cargo yeah and tow boats. boats it's making the right noise uh, turn around I got distracted <laughs> uh. they do make the right noises when they leave but yeah there's almost always a train pulling into the terminus isn't there Alright you lot, load in. After the autosave obviously, because you know. Everything stops for the autosave. It does chug a bit for an autosave. Mm. Legit, off they go. And that has managed to pick up a precise amount of not enough. Oh wow, that's pulling out and that one had to wait for it to pull out and now it's pulling in. Mm. That'll separate them out a little bit more. Not entirely sure why that car went up there just to the turn around. A bit weird. Just have to link those two roads together. not covered by it. Yeah, that's why there's a private car out there. There's a section that's grown up out here that hasn't been uh, covered by the bus network. Well what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to save it some trouble. Uh, wait. 
city only ones. That. And curved. Because I know this game hates doing curves. So whenever I can put in a curve, I do, because it pisses the game off. It disrupts its gridding. Exactly. Right, I need to select the nearby stations. Good God. It's getting louder. You need to put one out on that cross section of the road then. Yeah, it's going to have to be huge. I'm going to need another one to cover... Oh wow. Oh wait, no. Oh, no. That'll help. Ah! That can just go on that link up there. Just up here. There we go, right. Now then, I just need to modify the lines. Um. Ah, oh, it's quite straightforward then. What the shit? Yeah. You just need to go from number oh, that's one. Two. Four. So it needs to go in after this one. Like that. And then we modify that one. Hating that. Thank you. This one. Uh, one, two. So it needs to go in after the rail station. It needs to go in there. Look, they're actually going round in a, a reasonable. Oh, it's because I got it there, not there. Otherwise, they just go down the main road. I mean, I could move that. Can't be bothered. They'll just do a little wiggle. And there's also this stuff out here that is not being covered in the slightest. So I've covered that bit, but look at this. Uh, looks like we've got to do it again. Brighton has expanded quite a lot since I last looked at it then. That appears to be it. So... If I disregard that and I put one up there, so it'll just form a loop around this section, I can concentrate a little bit more on possibly out here. If it tries to expand anymore, I'll be covering it. And then if I ignore what it's got and I go about here. Okay, I just have to question something. What was it thinking? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna put a bit of reality check in here for you. You can go, you can go. You can all go. I'm just gonna put a straight one up. I'll try it at an angle. Just to hack the game off. There! Wasn't that simple, game? Instead of building this weird ass. The game can't handle it. It's just incapable of doing anything resembling common sense. There. It's all covered now. So I've got two more bits to add now. Right. John's playing with his phone. Yeah. Doing also something. wondering why it's why my phone had disconnected from the network. Oh. Right, so for this route, after the railway station we go there, there, then there. So add station, 
there, then out there, then back to Kingsway. Yep. And for this one, it's after Kingsway, you go there, then there, then in. There Are you likely go. to need any more buses on that route because you've made it bigger? Uh, at the moment, no. Look at the stops. They're, they're virtually empty. And buses have 16 capacity each. Yep. This line... Nowhere near its capacity is losing money. Right. Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't need it. I could go and trim them all down, but to be perfectly honest, they're just Station feeding. is absolutely stoked. Yeah. No, no, those taking the, putting them other trains and all on has eased that somewhat. Yep. It does help slowly. Are they big icons or are they little icons? Oh, they're, they're little icons. Good. If you've got little icons above these, that's fine. And you've got the big icons, then you've got a problem. Right, okay, well, other than that, I think. There are, yeah, they've expanded to where chunks and they're no longer. I love how it looked. It's actually built around. It's yes. built around it. Which is fine by me. Worthing Station is a station in a pit. Basically. Not a nice thing to say about Worthing. I mean, if it might be true. But yes, they keep expanding, so I can't be bothered to go and fix them. I did it for Brighton because it's a terminus. They're important to get fixed. But yes. Meh. Yeah. That's the sort of thing I'd go and do when we're doing prettification. And off camera. Off camera on prettification, you know, we'll do. Basically, when we finished everything, we built everything up. Then I just keep on top of the expansions and all that and making it look pretty, basically readying it for we're finished, but we're not. No, nope, we've got another line to put in. We do have another line to put in. The London to Dover. I might just do the road link first so they at least expand a little bit. Of course, this is in three times speed. For oh yeah! This is London, and they're moving that fast. My God! Wow, you choose the most weird, yeah, wonderful Greenwich. Ones. Out that way. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to be building modern country roads. Yep, straight to modern country roads, and we're just going to build the line, the route gonna road it first so that they can they can get some some form of connections and they're gonna be like look I can connect to all these other things yay and then I'm gonna be like look at this fancy train I've just put in for you guys I reckon there. you can come out there to there or there to the other one that one now go for the first one that one yeah yep it's also an auto safe, so we can't actually do anything. So. Oh, no. Just like that. If there's a loud buzzing noise or whatever the hell it is coming through on this for for the majority of the last ten minutes, yes, it's it's next door. I can't mowing, do anything about it. They're mowing the lawn. Shouldn't have gotten rid of the gravel that the last your predecessors had there. You wouldn't have to do mowing the lawn then, would you, you muppets? Maidstone. Okay, Tumbridge is a bit south. Yeah, that's going to be fed in. That's That'll be fed, fed in. in. But we'll it's just moment. we'll just connect it. I mean, I could put in a main road down there and then just do a spur off and a spur off. Yes. And then put in another spur later on when I'm actually putting their um, 
their tram links in. Not building a bridge. Bloody road. I'm pretty sure cars can handle a slight incline. He says, going up a bloody mountain. That looks like a bit of a dip, so we'll go through there. I mean, they get to go through a wood. So we're heading towards Mainstone, are we? I think, at least that's what I think we're doing. Yes, you're heading to Mainstone. Making sure time was actually flowing as well, because sure, I don't want to make that mistake again. Good job we haven't got, a, haven't got a, a video camera. See the expression on JC's face. Sort of, what? Are you mad? No. I put a roundabout. Maidstone. Are you bloody mad? Am I bloody mad? Yes. Are you bloody mad, mate? You want to do what? Of course I'm mad. What do you expect? There we go. Job done. I teed that off and then shoved that in. Nice. Grit. There you go, look at that. Wham. Oh, hello. That's... that's interesting. Um, that doesn't look English at all. No, it's probably not. BR class. Okay. Whatever. BR, that's more British rail stuff. Uh, we're basically still waiting till the millennium, really, for anything decent to come along. Right, that's already Going dealt with, Dover. so we need to go that way. I think. Oh wait, no, we don't deal with Margate, we don't deal with Gramsgate. We terminate around about here, road-wise. You can just link them up with just... There, because roads. this road will carry on into Dover. Dover. Probably connect onto that chunk of road there. These two connect. I mean, you could always go around. Because the train station will be around about, you know, here. They'll connect up to that, and then it will carry on into there. So if you connect the road to Can Canterbury? Canterbury, yeah. Yep. This one will do. Up the mountain! Actually, in the UK, it's basically a hill. We don't have mountains. At least not in this part of the country. Most we have is the downs. That's a zonking green. Lump chalk. Yeah, well, let's put a tunnel in. You devil, you. There you go. You can drive up into a tunnel and then you'll emerge on here nice and flat so we don't have to go over this very steep ridge line. I'm just chopping the ridge line off. a bit so I can do yeah, a little bridge is that a new one that bought? Oh. that's one we have been using because that's from the workshop that's one we have been using mm -hmm. obviously because we've moved into a new era that's the inbuilt one so that would have been the best inbuilt one.
I'll go with that, thanks. I prefer that one. Yeah, there you go. I like that one. Oh, it's a tiny little bridge and then across. Right, so that's, um, that's connected Maidstone to Canterbury. And then I was going to connect Canterbury off to this chunk of the road here, wasn't I? Remember, it can go on it, a chunk of road anyway. Well, this is a corner there, so I was going to just connect in. Mm. It seemed. I was going to say, it seemed logical, but no, it just looks nice. Let's put it. Let's get reality check here. It looks pretty, so I'm going with what looks pretty. I really want to do another bridge. No, not really. Okay. Oh, well, looks like I'll be connecting over this side of it into here. It gives you enough room to keep your railway line in there. True. Yeah, the railway line does have to come via there. But it follows this round. Oh yeah, it will come out and then follow alongside the road for a little bit and then come around. Right, well these guys will need to have a road connection so I think we'll pull their road connection out from there. Next street to that. Good. That's already dealt with. That's that bit. Ooh, you've got to go over a. Uh, yeah, I'll connect them. I'll connect them up. Right, let's have a look. We've got three connecting to that one. Well, we've got two. Hmm. Then you've got three. Then you've got. One, two, I mean, I could connect it that way. Or I just run the road over there and then deal with the uh, the tram link uh, different, on a different road. Mm -hmm. Does it need to be navigable? No. No. Nope. So it can just be a nice flat road. Rich pillar collision? Where? <laughs> Rich pillar collision with what? <laughs> there's no bit, there's no collision! Okay. You could bring it up a little bit. Southeast. Blimey. Right, we might need to have a look at some of these, so I'm going to pause at this moment in time. There you go. I brought that up ever so slightly. Mm hmm. I could bring it up a bit more. Yeah, that would do. A bit of a natural ramp leading up. Like that. Have it like that and then bring it down a little bit more. Or alternatively, pull that right back to about there. So you come up and it's relatively flat across, and then I flatten it off at the other end. Mm -hmm. Apparently, that's perfectly navigable as well. Oh well. No warnings, no what's it so whatsoever. No. Okay. Monkey. There we go. Then when I take this road, I can then uh, drop it down. Uh, pull it down. That's underground. That's above ground. That's at ground level.
about there, that looks about right. Mm-hmm. We'll put it out so, so slightly. There, it's nice. Yeah, so that's a nice slope up, uh, slope down, and then... Um, where's the nearest road? Ooh, I can connect it over that way. The private road users get a choice. Even though, uh, if they want to use public transport, they got to go the other way. Hmm. How about I come back to this? We needed to check something. That's what I was after. Right, what have we got? We've got no electrics still. We're, We're still only using the electrics, so these must have been. These are more diesels. There you go. The class 166. Diesel. Still not better capacity? Hold on. Oh. wasn't showing up before. Now I've clicked multiple. They've suddenly popped up. Hmm. That looks like a new variant. Or speed 100. Yep. Capacity of 80. Lower capacity. But faster. Lower but faster. Attractive effort of 240. Have you seen the tractive effort on that thing? 1,072. Wank. Wank. Yes. Wank. Which one okay. are you using? Okay. I'm using the, what, the 200. This. That's Network Southeast, isn't it? Yes. Good. London Midlands. That looks very, um, what, what we'd have with Southern at the moment, but it's not quite. It's London Midlands, but it's got the same green with the round on the front. Yes. Otherwise, at this point, we're still going to go southeast. Yep. Uh, Stansted Express. What's this? Three, two, three. Oh, that's got that's a. Oh, that's got container. What's this? Oh, that's a three car. I'll go with that, I think. Mm -hmm. Right, there we go. Less capacity, good loading speed, but moves faster and more importantly, accelerates quicker. It's just slightly longer than a platform, but it should be good. at 160 rather than one whatever the hell the current one is. I hate it, I think. Still. Haven't we just changed them? <laughs> yep. No, that was what about two or three years ago. Oh 168. So yeah. It's not much of a loss. No it's not is it? I think it's worthwhile doing it for the speed more than anything else. Yep, go on then. I always knew when I put these in, I said right at the very beginning, what's going to happen is we're going to put them in and within a couple of years in game, they'll be all be replaced. Which I don't mind, I really don't mind that. So we're currently using these ones. Yeah. Yep. Let's, I just want to check something, if I click that and go add that that's that's like mediocre it can reach its top speed on flat terrain in 145 seconds it can reach its top speed in 102 seconds mm. which is a higher top speed <laughs> yes it gets to a faster speed quicker yeah that is the definition of an upgrade. Uh, just slightly, yes. Although it, we do lose a tiny bit of capacity. About what, six people? 
uh, eight people because the other ones are hundred and but it's sixty eight. But it's moving, moving faster. Those people quicker, and it can also reach its. It can get up to higher speeds quicker because of the short runs. So it's like yes, it's, it's slightly longer, which means I don't think the the arse end of this will be hanging off this platform, and the doors will still work. It, the game doesn't actually care. Uh, just to be honest, neither does British Rail. Neither do our train companies really care whether they are sent to the trains hanging out. They just do an announcement saying, you can't alight from X carriage. Move. No, no, because I've actually heard those announcements. It's like, by the way, you can't alight from the rear two carriages. Move if you want to get off. Bye -bye. Right, let's replace all that. At least we're in the right spot to look at the new train. Replace all with this. Talk with that one. I mean, it's a lot easier doing it this way, to be honest. Do they, look, do they look any different? Yeah, they look different from what they from what they were before. Yeah, they look more like modern trains. They look more like what we would have or would have had. Also, they have actually got the uplinks because the previous ones were meant for third rail, so mm. they didn't have the uplinks. These have actually got the catenary uplinks. Yeah, they look even more correct. There you go. Uh, that tree's in the way. I mean, I could, or I could just go around on this side. And just go, yeah, the tree's not in the way anymore. There we go, isn't that nice? I want that. Does it say on the front? It's actually printing where it's heading next. Yep, Folkston. Well, that's a... That's original. These trains are so long, I can't actually... Ah! I may have to go into first-person mode. And do it like that. There. There we go. It's... It's a long shot of a brand new train, so I got the front of the train. That's about it. You're basically, the, the thumbnail for the episode will be just like the front section here. And then just this big long section, because it will probably chop off the end. <laughs> mm. There we go. Right, well, then. Um, actually, let's follow this one. Let's see how long it actually takes to get to its top speed when it's going up this slope. And it's just like, yeah, I don't give a shit. I'm just going to continue accelerating. I have a new top speed. I must reach it. I won't reach Fortunately, it. there's a station. station in the way. How much doesn't fit? It fits! Yep. Oh, no. Auto save because auto saves. Auto saving for the auto save god. Yep. Here in time. Oh. Oh. Hey. Then let's deal with this problem while we see it, yeah? These are old. Bendy buses now. Yeah. Yes, bendy buses. That's going from 16 to 23. Ooh. That will help your. Um... Yeah, they probably need a couple more. Like that. Now I want to manage to 
vehicles on this lane. Oh, right. Clone all the vehicles. Clone all the vehicles. Yeah. Oh, it probably doesn't need as many, actually. Still. No, it probably didn't need the extra two. Ah, you know what? Effort. If they make a loss, the trains, they're, they're making a loss bringing passengers to the trains. That's more important. I bet all this fancy work. No, see, the, the station does actually get in the way. Right, the next series will have fancy modular stations right from the very beginning and it'll look so much better than this. But that, that, I that's, see that's... this thing accelerate. Oh yes, we do need to... We'll, we'll finish off the episode by watching and seeing how this thing actually does accelerate. It doesn't make any noise when it takes away when it moves off though. It's it's, which is normal, they don't anymore. <clears throat> they just... Just hear the whine. That sounds correct. Sixty six, seventy. And now it jumps to the future. Having just reached 88 miles per hour. Yes. <laughs> I had to. Easily fits within the terminus. <laughs> it makes the doors closing noises as well. Yes! Now this is going downhill, so we should reach its max speed. Because this is gravity assisted. No, it is a very short hop, this bit. think going downhill or up, oh no, 88, 90, 95, is it gonna, no, I got the 98, it's like you tease you, bye, you need, you, need a, you need a long section, that doesn't exist in this game, no, I'd have to take an even smaller scale chunk of the country, for that to work. Maybe when you do the west coast. Oh yeah, I was going. That's what I was going to say. When I do the west coast, yeah, because that's the next one. It's going into the, the southwest as opposed to southeast. <clears throat> I think it's Great think, Western. I think it's wider. Which yeah, means you get a longer run. Yes, the next series was going to be is going to be Great Western. We're going way out west. I'm also probably going to be deleting some of the towns. So we don't have um, lots and lots of short hops. This kind of crap. Because I would have deleted hazards, just went straight from Hayward's Heath. Right. You just don't put a, don't put you just don't put a station there. We might as well just delete the town. Look at that poor old Tunbridge Wells sitting there out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Say no more. No. How much was that? 10 mil. 10 million to delete Tunbridge Wales. 10 million to delete Tunbridge Wales. Hmm. Hmm. Intriguing. An intriguing concept, but no. Right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to here and this is where we're gonna continue on. We're gonna continue on with this road part and then maybe building the rails 
transportation, or at least start building the rail while we continue laying, plowing time on. Laying the track. Laying down the track. We'll let time just smash on. But uh, yes, that's next time. So, thank you for watching. And until next time, this is JC and Chipmunk. Out. Bye for now.